Hi guys, here's just a quick tip tutorial about animating Aurora Borealis on Northern Lights effect in Blender. Uh, so here is my not setup. Yeah, by the way, I'll speak uh, as loud as possible because I haven't got uh, an external microphone at work. Uh, I'm at work recording this tutorial right now, so sorry for that, uh, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, so here is a not setup and I'm using uh, the three main masks for that. Uh, here is the mask, uh, this mask that consists of these knots uh, I'm using for this light streak effect, uh, the vertical light streaks. And this, knot, uh, this mask looks like that. If I plug this uh, add knot into the viewer knot, you can see uh, these noise textures. Uh, I scale it too extremely on the uh, uh, x-axis, so that's why we have this... Um, vertical lines and uh, I'm using it the, as a factor between transparency and emission shader so later when we plug everything uh, together we'll have uh, where is a black noise uh, will transparency appear and where is a emi uh, where is a white noise as you can see here uh, our emission shader will appear so if I plug mix shader right now into the viewer note you can see a result and uh, later we're plugging everything together with another transparency and uh, as a factor we are using another uh, uh, mask which is looking like this uh, diagonal gradient texture I'm using in order to create this, ma this mask and I set the rotation uh, y value to minus 90 uh, and also why this is uh, wavy you may have just a straight diagonal uh, line if you don't have variations to your mesh so I, uh, I deformed my mesh like this so that's why I have um, this wavy pattern otherwise you will have just the diagonal line uh, later we plug in everything together with another transparent uh, node and uh, we're using another uh, uh, mask and this mask looks like this uh, to create this mask I'm using spherical gradient texture and the color ramp so we have that smooth transition between um, you know the edges and the center that gradient and after plugging everything together we're getting this result you may tweak uh, any of these values to your heart content uh, so you can see everything in this viewport uh, so play with that don't just follow this tutorial uh, completely and uh, uh, here I will open uh, the node editor uh, so you can see it better and copy it and recreate it on your computer and uh, in the compositor I'm using these notes, uh, I'm blurring it, I'm adding a fog glow and a little bit of streaks. Uh, I set the uh, render layer alpha threshold to this value instead of it was by default like this, it was initially 1, but I set it to 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, I found that uh, the blender doesn't see some uh, transparent edges uh, if it's set to the one um, I don't know why this is happening but I found if I uh, set this alpha threshold to this value uh, the blender uh, see all of the blurry uh, pixels uh, uh, you know the uh, that transition effect is better previewed uh, and so what I did to animate uh, the Aurora, uh, here is the mapping nodes, uh, Z value, I was animating Z values. Uh, at the first keyframe I have Z values set to this, I, so I press the keyframe, the I button, uh, and at the last keyframe uh, I have Z values set to this. And uh, we are using uh, 200 frames, so we are getting at the end 8, eight seconds uh, animation. And in the graph editor, I 
change everything to a press T and change it to linear by the default is the Bezier so the movement is um, uh, you know the uh, it's not smooth uh, so the speed is not constant so change it to the linear and also I keyframe the Y rotation as you can see for this mesh Uh, and here we go here's our final result uh, if I forgot to mention uh, something in this tutorial just leave a comment below this video and I will answer your questions as soon as possible uh, so thank you for watching guys uh, see you next time